now let us find out the derivative of the secant x function. So, let us consider f of x is equal to secant x ok. Now, find f of x plus h secant of x plus h by first principles dy by dx or f dash x limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Now, limit h tends to 0 secant x plus h minus secant x by h. For our convenience, this can be written limit h tends to 0 1 by h into secant x plus h minus secant x. Now, this is limit h tends to 0 1 by h into 1 by cos x plus h and minus 1 by cos x we can write since secant x is 1 by cos x. Now, limit h tends to 0 1 by h cos of x plus h into cos x is the LCM cos x minus cos of x plus h. Now, apply cos c minus cos d formula minus 2 sin of c plus d by 2 sin of c minus d by 2. So, this is limit h tends to 0 1 by h into minus 2 sin x plus x plus h by 2 sin of x minus x minus h by 2 by cos of x plus h into cos x. So, now take minus 2 common limit h tends to 0 1 by h of this becomes sin of 2 x by 2 x plus h by 2 sin of minus theta minus sin theta into minus sin of h by 2 by cos of x plus h into cos x. Okay. Now, we can write just rearrange the terms this minus into minus becomes plus this can be written 2 times limit h tends to 0 sin of h by 2 by h into sin of x plus h by 2 by cos of x plus h into cos x. Now, this 2 by h can be written h by 2. Now, this can be written limit h by 2 tends to 0 sin h by 2 by h by 2 and multiplied by limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h by 2 cos of x plus h into cos x. If you say h by 2 is equal to theta, limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta, this becomes 1. So, 1 into h by 2 becomes 0 sin of x plus 0 
by cos of x plus 0 into cos x. Now, this becomes sin x by cos x into cos x. This can be written 1 by cos x into sin x by cos x. See 1 by cos x is secant x, sin x by cos x is tan x. Now, what is the derivative of secant x? The secant x derivative is secant x into tan x. So, therefore, d by dx of secant x is secant x tan x. Derivate differential coefficient of secant x is secant x tan x. So, let us find out the differential coefficient of cosecant x. Let f of x is equal to cosecant x. What is the value of f of x plus h? That is cosecant x plus h. From the first principles dy by dx or f dash x. So, dy by dx let us say y is nothing but f of x only limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Now, limit h tends to 0 cosecant x plus h minus cosecant x by h. So, for our convenience it can be written as 1 by h limit h tends to 0 cosecant x plus h minus cosecant x. So, what is cosecant x is 1 by sin x. So, 1 by h limit h tends to 0 this is 1 by sin of x plus h minus 1 by sin x. The next step 1 by h limit h tends to 0 here LCM is sin of x plus h into sin x. Now, sin x minus sin of x plus h, sin x minus sin of x plus h. This is in the form of sin c minus sin d. So, we can write 1 by h limit h tends to 0 2 cos of x plus x plus h by 2 sin x minus of x plus h, x minus h minus h by 2 by sin of x plus h into sin x x x gets cancelled. Now, this is 1 by h limit h tends to 0 2 cos 2 x by 2 is x plus h by 2 sin of minus theta into minus sin h by 2 by sin of x plus h into sin x. So, this can be rearranged. So, minus common minus limit h tends to 0 sin of h by 2 by this 2 by h means h by 2 into limit h tends to 0 again this also we can write h by 2 tends to 0. 
cos of x plus h by 2 sin of x plus h into sin x. If you suppose h by 2 is theta, limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is 1. So, this is minus 1 now into cos x plus 0 by sin x plus 0 into sin x. Now, this is equal to minus cos x by sin x into sin x. This can be rewritten as minus 1 by sin x into cos x by sin x. So, minus 1 by sin x is minus cosecant x. So, minus cosecant x into cot x. This is minus cosecant x cot x. Therefore, d by dx of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x. Differential coefficient of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x. See, so far we have discussed differential coefficients of the various functions. That means, algebraic functions and exponential functions and trigonometric functions I mean. So, let me revise once again d by dx of x to the power of n is equal to n into x to the power of n minus 1 special cases d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x d by dx of 1 by root x is minus 1 by 2 x root x d by dx of e power x is e power x d by dx of a power x is a power x into log a to the base e d by dx of sin x is cos x d by dx of cos x is minus sin x d by dx of tan x is secant square x d by dx of cot x is minus cosecant square x d by dx of secant x is secant x tan x d by dx of cosecant x is minus cosecant x cot x. Okay?